A video that circulated on the internet recently shows what seems to be a cry of demons trapped and chained under an excavation made by archaeologists in a part of the dried-up Euphrates River. This video, which has left many people terrified, may even be a hoax, but the message it conveys is true. There is a prophecy in the Bible that reveals that in the last days, four fallen angels who are imprisoned beneath the Euphrates River will be released to lead an army of 200 million soldiers who will kill a third of humanity. Many people are not familiar with this subject, and that's why in today's video, we will analyze what the Bible reveals about this deadly war that will take place in the last days. We will also see who these soldiers are. And if you are at risk of being part of this moment, I guarantee you will be surprised. But before we begin, I ask that you subscribe to my channel and enable notifications to receive the upcoming videos that I post, okay? I want to help you in your journey with God every day. So come and join me. Now let's get started. I know you'll agree with me that there is no longer any doubt that we are in the end times. There are rumors of war, conflicts in various countries, alarming climate changes, and an increase in wickedness among human beings. The Bible warned us that many of these things would happen, and the prophecies about the signs of Christ's return are being fulfilled day by day. However, there is an event that few people know about, and it could certainly catch many people by surprise when it happens. I am talking about the prophecy mentioned in Revelation chapter 9 about an army of 200 million soldiers marching in a deadly war to destroy a third of humanity. And what may seem like a war movie scenario is the vision that God revealed to the Apostle John and was described by him in the book of Revelation, chapter 9, verses 13 to 16. So pay close attention to what is written, because later I will explain more about this prophecy. Okay? It is written like this. The sixth angel sounded his trumpet, and I heard a voice coming from the four horns of the golden altar that is before God. It said to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, Release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. And the four angels who had been kept ready for this very hour and day and month and year were released to kill a third of mankind. The number of the mounted troops was twice ten thousand times ten thousand. I heard their number. Look at this, brothers and sisters. The prophecy describes that this moment will happen soon after the sixth angel sounds the trumpet. And it is important to understand here that we are talking about a period in the end, times after the manifestation of the Antichrist on earth, where he will rule the nations with the promise of world peace. And it will be during this period that all of humanity will go through great suffering for having rejected Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. This is the moment when the four fallen angels will lead the army of 200 million. The event will occur after the sounding of the sixth trumpet, in other words, right after five other catastrophic events will have already happened on Earth. The prophecy reveals that this event is already scheduled and prepared with a marked hour, day, month, and year. In other words, it is a mission that has already been assigned to happen. But after all, who will be part of this great army? Will it be real human soldiers or robots controlled and commanded by the Antichrist? Many people raise the theory that this army will not be made up of real people, but rather of robots built with artificial intelligence and programmed to attack on the date of the prophecy. They believe this because technology is advancing at an incredibly rapid rate, and it is not difficult to envision a future where everything will be automated and controlled by artificial intelligence. There are already many reports that this technology could become a danger to humanity in the future, and the evidence for that is frightening. For example, a recent study revealed that there are over 27 billion devices connected to Wi-Fi all over the planet. In other words, an army of 200 million robots or drones with artificial intelligence would easily be possible to achieve. Do you agree? And nowadays we already see many news about the production of robots for various purposes, whether in the healthcare sector, where robots can perform delicate surgeries with precision, or in the commercial sector, where machines are already replacing humans as well as in the military sector, with the creation of robots capable of shooting, launching bombs, and killing without any remorse or repentance. 
Many films and cinemas, and even Brazilian productions, also explore the theory that this army of 200 million described in Revelation consists of robots with artificial intelligence. For instance, in that soap opera, Apocalypse, aired on TV record in 2017, the character of the Antichrist commands an army of androids, soldiers made with advanced technologies and automated drones ready to invade and destroy Jerusalem. The reason why many believe in this version is based on the part of the verse that talks about the day, hour, month, and year for the attack to happen. As robots are programmed to respond to command dates, and they would already be in conditions to be activated when that moment arrives. This theory is accepted by many theologians based on recent studies conducted by the Pentagon in the United States for the creation of a drone army. And recent reports revealed that the U.S. military has already initiated the testing phase with hundreds of thousands of war drones, replacing real soldiers with true attack machines. These automated drones communicate with each other through 5G and are capable of shooting, launching supersonic missiles, atomic bombs, and toxic gases to eliminate the target. It is the Project A where the swarm of aerial robots will dominate the battlefield of the future. Believe in it, brothers and sisters. This future is not so distant because some of these drones are already available for government use and have been sent to assist the Ukrainian army in combat with Russia. Reports indicate that these drones are highly effective, capable of visualizing an enemy from kilometers away and initiating an armed attack. The survival rate after a coordinated and programmed drone attack is almost 0%. In other words, these robots will be able to eliminate the target with ease, without facing any resistance. In China, for example, a military parade featured more than 5,000 drones in a coordinated and synchronized display. This historic achievement was made possible through the Internet, where all the drones were controlled by a single system and operated with 5G technology, a large number of drones spread across the world. And it is entirely possible to happen. Despite this theory making sense to some people, there are other possibilities regarding this deadly army from the Book of Revelation. Many believe that this army consists of real people, willing to kill and destroy, causing the genocide of one-third of the world's population. But where will this large army come from? And who are these people? The Bible reveals that the four fallen angels are imprisoned beneath the Euphrates River, a region in Asia in the Middle East, where the population has been growing significantly in recent times. According to data, currently more than 400 million people live in this region, and its growth is the second largest in the world. The theory that the army would be composed of people from this region makes sense since the population number aligns with what John described in that prophecy. It is also important to analyze what the following verses reveal in Revelation chapter 9. Look at what is written. The horses and riders I saw in my vision looked like this. Their breastplates were fiery red, dark blue and yellow as sulfur. The heads of the horses resembled the heads of lions, and out of their mouths came fire, smoke and sulfur. A third of mankind was killed by the three plagues of fire, smoke and sulfur that came out of their mouths. Many theologians believe that John's description of what he was seeing in his vision would have been given from the perspective of his time. After all, we are talking about a vision that was revealed to him by God over 2,000 years ago. During that time, the characteristics of an army were limited to horses and chariots, swords and armor, with aesthetics quite different from today. Nowadays, an army includes firearms, tanks and armored vehicles, helicopters, ships and, as mentioned earlier, drones of war. John would not have been able to accurately describe these characteristics as we know them. For this reason, the way he describes horses launching fire may lead many to believe that it refers to gunfire from tanks or drones. The smoke would be a consequence of this conflict, and the sulfur would represent toxic gases that were widely used in wars, especially during the First and Second World Wars, to eliminate enemies. Therefore, this theory supports the idea that this army will be composed of real people, soldiers who are part of the military groups of the nations that will be ruled by the Antichrist. However, why would ordinary people accept being part of a war to eliminate one-third of the population? It is essential to understand that we are talking about a time when people will have rejected God, and those who remain here will submit to the orders of the Antichrist. He will rule over the nations, 
dictating what is right and wrong according to his diabolical principles. This is the version that I believe the most, where people will be manipulated to compose this army in a mortal war, where those killed will completely lose the chance to have eternal life with God. Another theory raises some symbolic characteristics of the 200 million soldiers. The text does not clearly reveal whether the soldiers will be composed of real people, demons, or robots with artificial intelligence, but it does reveal some important meanings. In the vision of the Apostle John, the soldiers and the horses wear breastplates with different colors. Verse 17 mentions a color like fire, dark blue and yellow like sulfur, which some believe to be the identification of three organized groups of soldiers that will be scattered over the earth. The number three is also the number of plagues unleashed by the horses, fire, smoke, and sulfur. Throughout the Bible, it is possible to find the meaning for each of these components. Fire, as a symbol of destruction, conveys the message that a life of rejecting God leads to hell. Smoke has the symbolic meaning of invisibility in the Bible. It represents something that no longer exists. The combination of fire and smoke may bring the idea of forgetting. Therefore, the smoke after the fire comes out of the horse's mouths indicates that, after being destroyed by fire, those people fell into eternal oblivion. They became invisible in the sense of no longer existing, conveying the message that they will not have another opportunity to repent. The last plague, which is sulfur, has the significance of being a component commonly used to keep a never-ending flame. Sulfur is mentioned in the prophecy right after the fire and smoke, and it conveys the idea that the death and oblivion of those people will be eternal, without any future hope. Thus, these soldiers will bring the message of God's judgment upon those deserving of eternal destruction, showing to those who still remain on the earth that after death, there will be no opportunity for repentance. The following verses reveal that this catastrophic event has the purpose of delivering a message to those who survive. However, even in the face of this scenario of great suffering, many will still continue with their sinful and idolatrous practices, rejecting God's sovereignty. Let's see what is written in verse 20. The rest of mankind who were not killed by these plagues still did not repent of the work of their hands. They did not stop worshiping demons and idols of gold, silver, bronze, stone, and wood, idols that cannot see or hear or walk. Nor did they repent of their murders, their magic arts, their sexual immorality, or their thefts. Very well, brothers and sisters. Some people believe that we are already living in this moment due to the entire world facing bloody wars, pandemics, and plagues that are killing thousands of people. Certainly, all these situations are signs of the end times. However, I still believe that we are not exactly experiencing the events described in the prophecy, which will happen only after the sounding of the trumpets and during the reign of the Antichrist. We must keep in mind that all these things will indeed occur to show how sovereign God is and that there is no other way but through Him. The only thing we can do is choose the right side to be on when all this happens, the side of eternal life, along with Jesus and His Church, or the side of death and eternal damnation, suffering the consequences of a life in rebellion against God. The prophecy is very clear in stating that everything will happen at a set day and hour. Therefore, do not waste any more time as it may be too late. I invite you to accept Jesus while there is still time. Allow Him to dwell in your heart and grant you eternal life. I guarantee it will be the best choice you will make in your life. Amen. If you liked this message, share it with your friends and family. Let's spread the word of God and await the return of Jesus. Amen. I'll see you in the next video. May God bless you powerfully.